Well, here we go. I'm going to show you the, how this thing uh, works so you can assemble it here. What's going on is because you know these two parts coming apart here. This will slide in here because of that track. So you can see this is a balcony for your figures to go in here so when it's on this angle they can look out there. Uh, there's like a little slot here for this to slide in with a little tab to hold it tight underneath here. Right under there. Fortunately I'm having a hard time seeing things. So I'm just going to have to rush things. So see how this is on here? It come right off. And it's got a slit in the side here. So now I can clip it to whatever has a straight flat part for it. So all of this little barge will come apart and all into its pre-made pieces like this. Then you can put them other way. So this will make the front of the barge the sides this way. But when you got both of them together, you can put them together on the side like this. And it makes that tower that's supposed to be like the front door entrance for Jabba's palace. These, if you look at the palace in the picture, it's got these humps in the background. So if you put these on there, they make the humps in the background and you use the rest of the platform in the front. So I've done everything. The first things you'll be putting together when you get this and be building it is going to be the center part. So these are two flat plates that go together. And then they're both the same on both sides. Let me just slide this one. So this part has a clip underneath it, clips underneath here. I just slide it on this way because it goes over this bead. And once you clip it over that, it'll just clip right in there. Like so, see, schnappolo. And then you can slide it along there, show it in the video, and you can put it on on the other places and stuff. Same with this, this is how you make the skiff. This has a clip piece, it has the hole there, there's a tab on there that so the, the hole lines up so now that it can it can turn right but now you can unclip it and it'll clip into any of those other spots doing the same thing that's got so they're all over the place you can use the front of this and put them on the sides with it right to be the to make a skiff you can do it on the back plate one if you want even the side plate you could put them on so that's how I've made this whole thing so you can make it into it's 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 thing like this has got its it's just the table so you have it so the server can go in the middle you can also clip it back together now and, and there's on the bottom here's little toe holes so it doesn't matter what size peg figures you have they will fit in these toe holes and these toe holes are all over the top of this deck for it and the odd place on the inside so now you can put this anywhere you want and it has the same clips on the edges of it so it'll clip into any of those double tab things so I can clip the wings or I can clip this onto the side of that part I really want it to do and be sort of you know stupid but you never know what would you want this to clip on the outside of it for today is cold so I'm trying not to rush things so now I can clip that on the side if I wanted to. Isn't that a cool idea of concept? It's sort of like Lego, but not Lego. And this will interact with your uh, sand crawler I sold you. So it's got all the same clips. So you can take the sand crawler apart and the barge apart and have all that. But I'm really what I'm trying to get to is how you assemble this from the beginning. There's two flat plates here. There's the seam here. And from there, everything just slides right onto it. This front end simply just unclips. Oh, it should. Oh, it be easy, right? Then you have your two slits there, so it can just slide on. It's all, this makes like a, a carbonite that's different than the normal one. It's supposed to be an alien one, but it's stiff enough that you can turn it so a platform for a dancer to be on up there or make it come out in the front or back so it hides them and makes the wrap. And of course, all these clip unclip, so. I really wanted to. So I made this to try to look like the front entrance for Java's barge where that eye thing comes out. So that's what why I've done things in the way they've done them. So you could put this behind Java's throne now out there. These other clips. But I'm showing you like how one's single and one's double, basically male, female all over the place so you can make different things. 
different ways with it. The sails, the posts are this are different. These sails are different. There's one that is smaller, one that is bigger. Oh. So you can see, know which one. And the, they do go because remember the wind catches them, so it wouldn't be this way because this would blow this one right into that. So that's not logical. This is your front one, this is your back one. The big one's bigger. And I've also made it so that the webbing goes cross. I've never got that on any of my other ones. But what's going on is it's an elastic rope for you. So you take both of them off now. And now you have a whole rope. But what you do is make it double to hold down on the barge. And there's actual clips. Board on the outside here for them to clip into. <coughs> so they just really nicely. So if you, this is your edge, there's your sail off of it. These will just clip right under here. This knot part you can turn. I left it so you can, so that just so you can cut the ends off of them and make them into a rope if you want. Because I like them with a the dangling rope off there. Cause, but Luke needs a rope to swing off, so there have to be. But if both of these are down, he doesn't have a rope to swing off of. So it's totally up to you. So that's why you can pick this here. And then you have an extra length so you can have just the one rope coming off the one end. So, but I'm, I've set it up for two there. And then with that too, there's lots of possibilities, right? I don't have to cut that. I could leave that as one for the crisscross in the middle and still have enough there to put down because it's really stretchy. It's just cording, right? It's a nice black electric cording. And the inside's been doubled up. And I did these with a double thing so that they could slide, but I was having problems and I wanted to make a solider one that was kept its nice arc and everything. I wanted it to look more like I worked harder on this inside part and stuff to make it look more realistic like the movies. So anyways, enough of the sails. And they have uh, uh, the same thing, a clip that so it has um, basically male ends on it. So I can put this straight on the edge of this thing if I wanted to and clip it on there. Anything that's got a double spot. Because the sails I found when you're building the city are sort of harder. And I found that I put them on the edges of the city. So one would be here and one would be there. It's these posts are the same. I've gone like in the other video. There's a double clip for the ladder here. It just goes up here underneath the uh, underneath the uh, the canopy here that opens. So you can take this canopy off the same way, I, you can put it this way, and this part, the green part, sticks into it, so you can open it like this. Or you can put it the other way and have it a door that slides this way, and this is now the door for it. So it's up to you how you want to use it. And it also makes a good little platform thing for the missing part in Java's throne over here. You're supposed to have an extra control. They actually used the same thing in the movie and took this out and put a more technical control there. So you can control it. It's really hard to see in the movies, though. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'm just going over sort of every little part and piece. And basically, how I'm taking this part is how you would put it together. So now that you have both sides off, you got a whole view of the whole thing. So this is off a bit because I took the motor out. This does line up there, keeps it all even and stuff. I made sure everything lines up. If something's not making a seam somewhere, you just haven't made something into everything lined. But even with these. I made it so that this will come out. There it's your rack. And it's got a double thing. So one's got your male end and one's got your female end. And same on the bottom, I've made a one end's got the edge on it and one end's hollow. Because uh, in Java's thrown one, it's got one side that's all sort of flat so your throne can get his platform can go against it and the other side has all the details so if you put this harsh detail against this side it doesn't really fit so that's why it's got the empty spots there but it's got the clips on the ends of them as too it's got a it's hard to sort of see it but there's a slit in here so i can clip it onto any of the other ones if i wanted to and that's the idea of this this barge and that's why this barge is so expensive it's the biggest one i make and the most fun, see, it's not supposed to do that, but you'll find places where you want to clip it when you're making your cities and stuff. And I made all these tops so that they should clip in to hold your things and keep things separate. 
So you put these on this back rail here and move it wherever you want freely because it has two arms now, right? And you're supposed to be making the hull that go down to towards his place. And I showed you the front plate makes the front door. It's really quite cool. This gun is just homemade. It does pivot here. Sorry, probably to see from back there. I'm just freezing today. We got snow today, March 10th or whatever it is. So here's the cannon I've made for it. It's just a homemade one. I just made it out of all sheet plastic and a little couple tubes. So it's got a place for a foot thing. There's no handles on it or nothing. It just slides in there. I got a little hydraulic in there for it and stuff. Because you might have this late slave Leo one, but I, I've had one before and all the little pipes and stuff just fall off of it when you play with it. So this one's much nicer that it won't fall apart on you. And that's the idea why this one's done that way. But it also hooks onto the top decks. So if you have the skiff, you might want to put it on the um, bridge of the skiff or whatever. And that's the idea. The whole rail, the whole top, like this part, all this connects properly and there's one side so this will come out now you have that spot if you want r2 and them to be that where they fall through the hole you can do that i've always wanted to do that so if you look closely it's got all the little slots on it so they all line up perfectly you won't be able to put this one on the other side there's only one side these doors excuse me for a sec try to get us some more light is that going to make it worse? Because I was getting too much light problems. So back to these. They're all made. One side is all the edged where they're done, and the other side. So I tried to make it. It's really hard to tell which side is which. But I've made them. So there's a slit all along the edge here. So as you can see, there's you won't be able to get one side on one. They're different than each other. There's sort of a left and a right. You can tell which one is which. What's going on is there's like a little extra deck thing I've made along here. So it makes a platform going out. It's not going in for them. It's going out. You could probably do them around, but I know for sure at the back end here, they're really pacific for those ones. And these make really cool horns when you hook them on the front like these. This gear I did them on the Sith Barge one. If you check out the Sith Barge video, it was all black. That was cool. That client was so smart with some of his stuff. He does rare. I just love the work he gets done. Comes with ideas like I do. So it's, it's the idea with this, like I said, it all comes apart for your city so I can ship it. I don't want to spend, I'm already on a 12 minute video. Better get going here. So you can see that these edges will just clip. I had to make a slot there. Let's get to one, shall we? Here's one from this bridge part. Now I can get to these pillars. They should be the same length. Just give me a sec here. Ugh. This is this is very important that this hole and this hole, and this, this is straight. If it's going off a little bit, you know you haven't lined things up. This is the pole that's telling you what's really lined up on the bottom here and your sides. Because you're going to have to sort of slide this around. Everything slides into each other. Like this top deck here, I have to slide it out. And I'm not sure if I want to do it on a cold day. There you go. There's your top back deck. It's got all the toe holds in. Let's show you the toe holds. So it's got some big ones so you can put big feet in there so the guy doesn't fall. There's smaller ones on the side here for smaller toes. And what's going on, this part is all glued in here because if you're using it as a skiff, it works great. And now there's a double edge here that's all the female side so you can clip any male thing into there so every one of these rails can go in there i'm finding i just have to put the odd one and just leave them hang on the outside so it's not so hard so what i do it's gonna be a long video but it's gonna show everything and how everything does there's like the inside a bit better let's give you a quick close-up of some things because i'm gonna rush this video now so you pretty much understand so this thing is the same way when you put this in this one i gotta go over it here I don't know if you can see what I'm showing you. Everything is white. There we go. So this deck has a double edge on this side. I can't see what I'm showing you. I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to show you how quickly inside. Because it looks good once you take all that off. There's bottom floors down here. they got to be set up. So this one has a double clip or a single clip. There's a hole here for your light to turn your light on for your thrusters. 
I just got to get to things as quick as I can here. Not even sure if this is showing things properly now. But we'll get things back together here. I don't want to be too long of a video. So this one is free floating. This one arc is just free floating. It will stand by itself, nothing around. So it's nice and that's cool about this one arc I made for it. And I just used it for the middle here to keep the middle from sagging when I had it in open mode. So I'm not sure. I haven't even tested to see if it will fit in there. Same with the back one for Java here. Oh, the light switch for this is on this side here. It turns all these little lights on. Sorry I got such a bad video today. Maybe we can get this a little closer for us now. Get some of these parts out of the way. So I think the, the, the assembler should be able to understand it by now. It's all straightforward. I have to take this job out here. Now the decks all come apart. So here's your top deck. Here's the jailer's door for it. And it has place for two rooms here. And there's plates underneath here that are just that gridded stuff, but there's slots here for them to fit into. I'm not even sure if I got which one's right. Yeah, because there is a slot for them to go. There's a little groove in it right there on the edge, and then it goes in there. And you don't have to worry about this stuff. It's hard to paint, so it, the more you play with it, the more grottier it's going to look. Because it's a poly plastic. And poly, poly's like uh, your grocery bags. You can't paint poly plastic. It's a myth. If the paint so, see something on there, it's just going to rub right off on your hands. So there's the two rooms, or the rooms to separate all in the back there. I just didn't have that part put together. So this you'll find will float, and there's a ledge there for it. Oh, almost forgot. I did insert one of these. You can have a third ledge up there if you want. But the problem with it is, is your Java won't fit in, so it is included, and you can just put it aside. It works great in your city mode somewhere. But there's your light switch for the lights. I don't know if you can see the lights come on or not. But from here, I'm just going to take it apart. And, uh, oh, I have to show you this real quick. This is important. So this front plate, they slide in. They don't clip. And this one here, the middle one, actually has clips on the sides. So once you have it, you can clip the sides into it. It doesn't slide along. It actually clips from the sides. Where these two have bars to go together underneath. I'll just show that real quick. There's all these parts and pieces. They're going to wrap all individually in cellophane. And throw them up to you. So I'll show you the bottom here real quickly. Because that's what the bottom of the thing looks like. And got a spark two pieces here. Separation quickly. Oh, there we go. So there's where it separates, and you can use these two parts for different parts of the city. Like we got an 18 minute video. <laughs> That's pretty long. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, but those are the first things I would assemble. And like everything comes apart, so you can make cities see like how this is nice. It's got the engine part and that. It sits level. Let's do that. Oh, I can show you this if you wanted quickly. The light part of this I put on the on the bottom so you can reach it. And there's a double fin right here, and so it'll clip right in here or here, so you can have it so it's at this height or at this height. It's up to you. And I did before in other ones make it sit this way for in city mode, and I usually made it more square. This one's got a bit of an angle. I'm sorry about that this time, but it was a nice feature in city mode. This this little tower. So maybe it might have to clip on to something. It's just because it's the way I made it. It's usually square here, but it's got an indent to fit for this one. But I know it goes this way. It has to hang down. Just give me a sec. And there's little spots for it. Because it has to hold your height here like that. I just want the video to be shorter. It's 20 minutes is long enough. Okay, guys. And right in the background, if you see here, there's my Hellcats I'm working on. I don't know if that shows it. They're multi-changes. Each of these cats, these guys change into five things. These are the feet. They change into ten things. And the middle guy's just the pieces here. And his weapons are over there. I don't know if this is even showing that. But there's the 100-inch uh, Star Destroyer in the background. Okay, thanks, guys. I'll tell you about the 20-minute video. Say bye to Megatron. Bye, Megatron.